it is playoffs, baby. In last episode, we showcased the Los Angeles Kings Lions. We'll do it again because I don't think anybody really stayed that long. If you did, thank you, and I appreciate it. Um, you're going to see, though, how deep this team is. They got their superstar. They got their complimentary first-line players. You got a good second line and then a bunch of 84s, 83s. You got some playoff experience, Kopitar, Dowdy back here. Defense is good. This is a good defensive core, and, of course, in that, they have UC Soros. It's, and then look at their scratch players. It's a fantastic team. Um, very deep with superstar talent. Um, I'm, I'm pretty concerned, honestly. This is a team that could knock us off. Um, it's not. It's never an easy walk, though, to the Stanley Cup Finals. We're going to rock with Connor Hellebuck coming off an injury. We're going to hope he's okay. Uh, you did trade for Philip Gustafson, so if he does go down, you got a solid backup. But Hellebuck has been cleared to play. Not fully healed. He doesn't fully heal. He wouldn't fully heal until game three. Um, let's just see what this message says. Let's just have some fun. H. H. Okay, let's hop on in. Um, I think you play Hellebuck. He's clear to play. I think you play him. Um, if he gets injured, you have Gustafson. And you go from there. But let's hop on in and let's see how many penalties we can take in this year's Stanley Cup playoffs, baby. 2026, we are here to defend our Stanley Cup. We're here to keep what's ours. And it's underway. <laughs> Mark Shifley scores. We uh we took a five minute mate. We took a, we gave him like seven power play minutes there in the first period of the first game. Shout out Kyle Connor. Okay. Also, this is a big playoff run for Kyle Connor. It's kind of determining if he gets re-signed or not. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, he's asking for north of ten mil. I'm not paying a guy ten mil who can't perform in the playoffs. I feel that's fair. That's, I feel that's why Cole Perfetti has 10 mil and a con Smythe in his back pocket. Max Domi scores here late, end of second. Into the third we go. Tied at one. Kind of getting outplayed a little bit, but a power play. We already know how this goes. Yes. Um, we're not here. If you're new, if this is your first video you watch, let me break down the playoff simulation for you. You won't score on any power plays. You'll take a lot of penalties. And then everything else is you better hope you win every other part of the game. Um, also, overtimes are only for elimination games to watch. We're going to do this t simulation, though. And we're going to hopefully come up on top. But considering what I just said. Yeah, okay. Now it's going on that power play goal. I think we all know the outcome here. There it is. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, to be fair, I don't think Dave scored a power play goal either. Fucking hell, Anthony Duclair. We drop game one. We score one goal. It's kind of pathetic. But Connor Hellbuck did not get injured, and he played very well. So you're going to run it back, okay? Let's run it back. Okay. I just try to stay quiet during these because I seem to talk and it just initiates bad things that happening against my team. Um, so far, it seems a very defensive series. One to one after one. I love the goal against and then penalty right after combo. Ridiculous. Will Smith... Thank you. Like I said, expectations are high for this team. So I'm going to get frustrated pretty quickly. These games are close, though. This is a good team here they got in Los Angeles. I don't want to get knocked early. Score a power play goal, Atlanta. Mm, come on. Man, the shots are dead even, too, almost. Overtime again. Let's hope for a better outcome. Fuck. I'm shaking up the lines here. Down 2-0. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, here's the lines now. Um, Ellers, back from injury. 
Hops into the lineup. Um, so that moves Phil, Pilstrom back down. So Elhurst missed the first two games. Pilstrom's back down to the third line, and we got Elhurst back on the power play. Power play two, that is. Uh, we're down 0-2 in the series because of two overtime losses. It's very unfortunate. It's a close close series, but Elhurst coming into the lineup will be the line change. Um, hopefully he gives us a little edge to come in here game three and win. Like I said, expectations are very high, so I'm a little frustrated right now, but it's two very close games. Never, ne we're never going to score the power play. They will, though. It's just like, does anyone else have this issue? Does anyone else have this issue with um, their simulation? Why does this happen to me? Anybody know? Kyle Connor. Kyle Connor. Stop! Stop fucking taking penalties. It's like another double minor too. Now we just took two at the same time. That's another thing that just keeps happening. My goodness. Ellis back in the lineup, though. I mean, we're getting outplayed. Don't know how long we can hold them off. Especially... It's comical. It's, it's really funny that this keeps happening. You know what? You know what, EA Sports? You can do whatever you want. You know who I have in net, EA Sports? I'm so confident I'm going to talk before the game's over. EA Sports. EA Sports. EA Sports. EA Sports. That's right. Get goalie, bitch. Let's tie this series up. This is a very defensive series. Holy shit. Holy shit. I kind of wish I was just playing the first two games. Um, Alright, let's even this up and not go down 3-1. Tomas, finally a goal. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this game's so stupid. Pillstrom, thank you. Thank you. Come on. Score a power play goal. <laughs> what are we, 0 for 7, 0 for 8? Something like that. Something like that. 2 to 1 into the second. 0 for 8 is so bad. In the power, in the playoffs, too. Alright. We goalied them. Let's hopefully not get goalied here. <laughs> How come all my penalties just seem so long? Am I just like. Viewing that incorrectly. Not two at the same time. It's again two at the same time. This game is doing something. I'm telling you. It's the way the simulation goes against the user controlled team. It's. It happens way too much. Dylan DeMello of all people. Claps our own. On UC Saros. But. There he is. Ab. It's about time. Kind of wondering where he was. But I didn't want to say anything. Um. Let's hope for a Dylan, let's play for a Dylan DeMello game winner here. Dylan DeMello game winner. All right, so we have turned it around, even up the series here too. Everyone's healthy, everyone's good. We've overcome that beginning adversity. How has Ellers been in his two games back? He's had two assists, so he's yeah definitely been a big addition. Uh, don't look at that. Kyle Connor's done that. Who is producing for this team? Shifley is. Nobody is producing for this team. This team is offensively doing nothing. So. Let's mix it up like that. Alright. Let's mix it up like that. Defensively, you guys doing alright? Plus one. Plus two even. Then you're even on the back end. Okay, so it's just a very even series where there's not a lot of offense. 9-5-3 for Hellebuck. Alright, give me one second. All right, game four, game five, sorry. Tied it to a little bit of a line change. Let's see if we can get a spark offensively here. Let's not rely on Dylan DeMello scoring goals to win. There you go, Billy. All right, I'll, I'll take these the surprise defenseman goals. A five on three. It's not even a power play, but that's fine. And, okay, goals in a bunch. Goals a bunch is here. Okay, whew. We finally got our offensive output that we were looking for. Now, it's not... Allow, allow them to have one of their own, okay? Because that was only one period. We got two more here. UC Saros is pulled. You can chase UC from the net. You did something right, man. You 
you've done something right if you can chase UC Soros from the net. And the Atlanta Thrashers started off the first period really hot, but a second period here of letting Los Angeles get a lot of shots back on. Now, Connor Hellebuck's playing fantastic. Um, just don't allow him to score five goals in the third period, and you've won. That seems pretty simple, right? Okay, now it'd be six. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let the time roll out. We're still not scoring power play goals. Any of them, actually. <laughs> it is so, so funny. So funny. I'll try and change it real quick. But we finally got our offensive output. Um, one more and we move on to the second round. Yeah, it's 3-2. to two. Yeah. Um, I'll try and change this around. You want Kulik to ball up here. I guess I'll look at Phil Strum in here. Just something different, man. Also, I'm pretty sure Kyle Connor is also not doing much right now. Three points. Okay. Okay, Kyle. Like I said, if you want to come back to your team next year, we need to have a good run where you produce. Okay? We need to have a good run where you produce, Kyle Connor. Doesn't have to be goals. I just need you doing something out there. Captain Kyle. Phil Strum, goal, finally. Oh, that's actually a second of the series, I believe. Darius McGinnis has been quiet, but I'm assuming he's doing sound defensively, which is very important in a series like this. Pierre Luc Dubois makes it 2 to nothing. Once again, if we win this game, we move on to the second round, alright? We avoid, uh, we can avoid um, being upset, because we are the President's Trophy team, alright? LA is a solid, solid squad, though. They're very, very deep. No player below an 83 overall. On offense, you got an 82 on defense. And it's your bottom pair. So, this is a very good Los Angeles team. We're playing very deep and very defensively coached, as you can see how this series has gone besides last game. But we are one period away here, boys. We're going to jump in with about... Yeah, there we go. Finally, a power play goal. Thank you, God. All right. Is that a major or something? Cross-checking, minor, minor. Okay, double minor. Don't want to miss... Okay. All right, we're jumping in 24 seconds left, up by one. All right. Ab has made it a one-goal game there. Up by one. Please, God, let us win this. We have 100 offense. I don't know if I've ever done that before. All right, let's kill her. Oh, they're on a power play, too? Jesus, they're on a power play. We know that. Let me help us. Get it out. Empty net. There you go. No ice and just fire them at the net, boys. All right, 20 seconds. They're coming back on the rush. Who's up? Dangles in. Morsi pushing the outside. The mellow to Morsi. I thought he launched it out of play. To your top defender, too. All right, they got time for what? One more rush here? Come on, Atlanta. Come on, Atlanta. Yes! Who's 89? I feel like I should know that. Is that Kyle Connor? Why is he on the penalty kill? We need to check. Oh, it's 39. It's McGinnis. McGinnis broke it up. McGinnis broke it up. It's center ice. I told you, boys. He's defensively sound. He's a defensive weapon. 39, not 89. Pretty sure 89 is Dubois. Um, Atlanta Thrashers come back from being down 2 to nothing in the series. And win 4-2. Captain Kyle shaking hands. There's Ab, their superstar. Yeah, McGinnis, dude, broke up their last final rush. Prevented them from getting up the ice, and he iced it right back down. Let's take a look at it. Look at this. Here's Ab coming up. Ab, a franchise medium player, gone first overall. He's looking across ice. He, that space is there. And if he gets around, who is this? Is this a good player over here? It's Quentin Byfield, 89 overall. If he gets around here, you're looking you're looking at him one-on-one -on -one here with Morrissey. Morrissey could keep him outside maybe, but it's, it's a good scoring chance if he can get this pass across. Look at, look at McGinnis' big ass, all right? He holds his spot at the blue line, checks his man, turns around. He gets his feet moving right away. His feet are moving right away. He's looking at where the puck is. Look at how he breaks up this pass. There you go. Perfect. And look, not only does he break up the pass, he turns around. Immediately fires it down the ice. Immediately. 
and he's sound the entire way back. McInnes, dude, you cannot. It's, he's so valuable, so valuable. Darius McInnes. And ladies and gentlemen, we have moved on to the second round. Now it's time to be a little honest with you. Ellers was healthy for the first two games, but I forgot to put him in. Um, so yeah, that's that's the truth, boys. But he's he's in there now, and he is healthy. So. Let's take a look at their team. Oops. All right, so. The road to defending our cup. First round, success. Next up, St. Louis. Sven Lehmberg. He's played three years. He's been around 45 points the entire way. Okay. Robert Thomas is very good. Kyrie's very good. Will Lockwood is 79 overall in the second line. And that's Brandon Sy. That's Braden Shen. Got Halla, Dvorak. I'm not too impressed. This is a worst. Why is Neighbors on the fourth line? This is a worse team than what we just played, in my opinion. Now, you don't take them lightly. Uh, they got Pulak, who's a defenseman that, as a GM I really like. They, they got a good decor. This is a solid decor. And in that, you got Bennington and Hofer. Looks like Bennington's starting from. Uh, I'm assuming they're just going to ride the hot hand there. That makes sense. All right. Let's jump into game one, boys. Terrible start. Scored quick, man. Was it 38 seconds in? Score again. Jake Evans. The two players I just called out for being not very great. There you go. Will Smith gets one back for us. All right, two to one at the end of the first. Could be a lot worse considering the early goal. Let's keep working though. Come on, uh, we might be getting goalied here. There we go. Tomas gets one. Almost the rock star. Are we calling that the rock star zone? I might. Third period. There you go, Ellers. Big goal down there. Big body down in front of the net. Shifley, finally. Oh, not finally. He's had a great first run. Oh, third period. Third period. <laughs> Five to two, boys. It's looking like we're jumping ahead of it here. Benning Bennington probably beat the shit out of someone by now. If you're being honest. There you go. 5 2 victory. For your Atlanta Thrashers in game one. Shifley is having himself a season, man. 103 regular season points. Kyle Connor. Six points plus seven. Okay. I see you, Kyle. I will praise you when you do good, man. The ball's struggling a little bit. Perfetti's struggling a little bit. Man, I talked a lot of shit with Perfetti. <laughs> you guys would be relentless. Darius McGinnis has three assists. Show me the takeaways. Show me all of the takeaways. <laughs> this guy's so good. He's so good. Will Smith, three points there. Phil Show, I know he's got two big goals. The fourth line, we got Silverberg in there right now, plus one. We can always put Engvall in. Lucius is in. McGrody's in. They're not playing a lot here in the playoffs, but it, it's a valuable experience when they're out there. There we go. Plus three. Plus six. There we go. Hanola and Robertson. Plus eight. Yeah, they're playing great together. Got minus one, plus one on the back, and that's fine. And your rock of this team is Connor Hellebuck, man. We just had to give him a little more help up front. He, he's continued to be a great playoff performer. He's got a cup to his name. He wants another one. Game two. The chance to go up 2-0 in the series against the St. Louis Blues. There you go. Will, Will Smith, man. Coming around. Should look at Ordeo's playoff stats after this. I don't know if Seattle's been like that. There we go, Perfetti. Little shot from the point. Uh, we're never going to score a power play goal. But if we're scoring five on five, who am I to be angry? If we're on a power play, their chances of scoring go down. They're not zero, but they go down. There you go. There you go, Jake Neighbors. Three to one. Four to one. Chaz Lucius finally snipes one. Rucker McGrody, the fourth line. Some de That's what feels a little different about this team compared to last year's team. We don't need to rely too much on the top six. Your depth goal scoring with these young, talented players finally cracking the lineup. Uh, that feels like a big improvement and difference maker from last year's team. 
Um, a 5-1 here going to the 5-2. Uh, just don't need to blow it here. And you'll be up 2 nothing at the beginning of the second round. I mean, you're looking good. You're looking good against a St. Louis team that in the regular season was kind of chasing us down in the standings. Rucker McGrody again. Christian Dvorak answers. Um, I remember the St. Louis team was chasing us down in the standings. Uh, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck. <sighs> Not cool, man. Not cool. I was just trying to talk that one away. I was <laughs> just trying to put that game to bed, but no. No, they, uh, they hung around. All right, game three. Chance to take a commanding three to nothing series lead. Let's do it. And we're scored on by Brandon Sutton. For Chaz, this fourth line has come alive, man. Ah, awesome. That is a Alex Carey, a shorthanded goal. Also, they've been on the power play for the entire... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like always biased, penalty-wise, against one of the teams, but the difference is my team will never score in the power play. Now we did just score a shorthanded goal. Philstrom, yes. So, I mean, who am I to... Playing too much. Four to two here, halfway through the second. This is looking like it might be that way going into the third, which I'm pretty happy with. They seem to keep rolling with Jordan Bennington, even though we've been offensively successful this series. Tori Krug, though, this could be a close one here. And yeah, they get a power play. Don't let them tie it up, boys. Come on, Connor. Stay strong. Holy shit, a power play goal. That was a huge one, too. I, I'm so happy we saved our first power play goal. It feels like, anyways, for this big moment. And your Atlanta Thrashers are taking a commanding 3 to nothing series lead. Let's go defend our cup, boys. Seattle's getting spanked right now. Down All series are 3-0. Let's see who can close it out here and get the sweeps. Atlanta's hoping to right here. Jakob Silverberg. Our fourth line has come alive this series. That's that's what's put us up 3 nothing this series is our fourth line. Now, Braden Shen does get one back there. And in the first, 1-1. One, one. Yes, sir. Start the second. Come on. There you go, Phil. Pilstrom has come alive this... It's our bottom six. Bottom six is playing very well this series. I just don't think this team is deep enough to compete with all the talent. Oh, St. Louis, that is. I believe in our teams being deep enough. There we go, Shafley. End of the second. Three to one. There you go, Perfetti. Not as effective in uh, this year's... But Darius McGinnis, finally, scores a goal. Glad to see a guy who puts in real good work get rewarded offensively there. We'll watch the final seconds of this one as well. We dominated this game. Look at the shots. We dominated this game, boys. Ooh. Whose jerseys were those? Were those our jerseys? I don't think I made a third jersey for this team. Ready to drop the puck and get back what do we wear? Oh, we're in our... <laughs> I don't know why this happened, by the way. These jerseys are way too similar. We're wearing our Jets old jerseys. Just pretend we're not. Just pretend we're not doing that. <laughs> did I choose them? I don't think I did. Anyways, we sweep the St. Louis Blues in four games. Good series. Uh, good series, Atlanta. We're gonna be trying to score. Darius McGinnis! Ladies and gentlemen, if you're a fan of the Atlanta Fashers, go cop yourself a Darius McGinnis jersey. Because I promise you, this lad is not going anywhere anytime soon. And if he's not offensively effective, do you know how good of a contract we're going to get him for? I mean, obviously, I want him to be effective offensively. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. Our goal of creating a dynasty is becoming very realistic. On to the West Finals, boys. Let's bring it to him. I can't skip this part, unfortunately, because I'm just watching. There we go. Finished game. I had us down as Winnipeg in that game. That's why. Didn't say Atlanta. We are still Atlanta, right? Yeah, we are. 
All right, good sweep. Oh, Seattle wins one, and then everyone else swept as well. Let's see who we get in next round. Seattle or Vancouver? It's Vancouver. The Vancouver Canucks versus the Atlanta Thrashers in the West Finals. Let's just make sure our... I mean, I know we swept them. Let's just make sure our team is still together here. Eight points plus six. That's fine. 13 points plus eight. That's more than fine. Eight points plus six. Good. Retaining seven and ten plus four. Dubois, only four points, but plus two. And Perfetti had a good series. Three goals, four assists, up to seven points, plus two. And look at the bottom six. Look at them. Look at them flourish. Yes. I'm not taking you out. I'm not taking any of you out. You guys are playing fantastic. Defensively. Yep. Okay, these guys had a good series, too. Salmonson dropped. Uh, dropped. He jumped to an 81 overall. There we go, Hanola. There we go, Robertson. And the top dogs are playing good as well. And our cornerstone. Connor Hellbuck, 937. Gustin would get it at all. No, that's, that's from last year, I believe, right? He hasn't played any. Yeah, he played for Buffalo one playoff game last year. Alrighty. Uh, let's check out Vancouver's team. Vancouver Canucks, what do you got for me? Lucker and Mackey. Patterson. Alright, so here's here's what I'm looking Oh, Blake Wheeler coming back. How have you been, Blake? He's coming off a 50-point year at age 39. He's, he's, he's proved me wrong, alright? His overall has dropped, but he's, he's still performing. Credit where credit is due, Blake. Over 1,100 points. He's been effective in the playoffs, too. He's on their top line with Pedersen and Lekker and Mackey. Yes, Yolenin, JT Miller, Connor Garland. He's three players that are around 80 overall. But you got your stud in Pedersen and good second-line players here in Miller and Garland. The third line's fantastic, arguably better than their second line. And the fourth line's a good fourth line. Quinn Hughes is a stud, paired up with Ethan Bear. Brady McNabb goes from our team over to Vancouver. He's doing the same. Oh, no, Tyler Myers went to Vegas after us, but he came from Vancouver. I understand now. Uh, yeah, he's out there. Um, it's not a bad decor at all. You got your stud, and you got solid around him. Who's in net? Demko? Demko's an 88. You got a stud goalie. It's a good team. Um... They probably rely on this third line a lot. Yeah, five points, six points, and, of course, one point. Um, any injuries, actually, for them? Let's check. I think I think Vancouver's found... No injuries. I think Vancouver's found success through having their third line be better than other teams' third lines. But our third line has Darius McGinnis, Will Smith, and Terrell Pilstrom. We can match up. Game one here in Atlanta. Zone 6 Arena. Excuse me. And JT Miller scores from the corner. Delightful. Ah, short and a goal for Ellers. Why is Ellers on the PK? I don't know. I don't know. Riley Stillman. Hey, attaboy, Nikolaj. Ah, that sucks. So we get we have been former Sabered here, Riley Stillman, former Sabered, Samuel Gergensen's former Saber. Ah, oh, we give up a power play, no goal though. And we give another one. Try again, guys. There you go. Finally, one for us. We get a power play goal. Kyle Connor, Kyle Connor. He's not scoring goals in this playoffs, but he's actually he's producing. Okay. Uh, he, he wants to get paid. He wants to stay here in Atlanta. Would have been nice to score that five minute major. Who got fucked up? Oh, Brady McNabb took a boarding penalty. Eek. Look how far away the P is from the boards. He must have launched him into the boards. Hopefully there's no injuries here. Kyle Connor though, puts us up 4-3 to three at the end of the second. Going into the third, it's been a highly offensive game. Both of these teams have kind of disregarded defense. And we give up a shorthanded goal. That wasn't fun or cool. Did he score that from his own end? Which end are we shooting on right now? No, I don't think he scored it from his own end. Overtime! I right, shit, I didn't mean to do that. I want to watch. Please take me back to the sim. Okay, good. Whew! thought it was just going to take me back to the menu. Okay. We'll only watch the elimination 
moments or else we'll be here forever. Yes, who was it? <laughs> Ace in the hole, Darius McGinnis. Puts the game away in overtime. And the Atlanta Thrashers taking a 1 nothing series lead. I want to give Darius McGinnis the con smite if we win the cup. Game 2, fire up. No changes made. I mean, if we can be a, little, be a little more sound defensively while being as effective offensively, I feel good about our chances. Because if you remember, regular season, great goals for, great goals against, great power play, great PK. Obviously, the power play has disappeared in the playoffs, as it always does. But if we can keep that puck out of the net and just get something. Wow, okay. Ellers. Pilstrom scores. End of the second, going into the third. Pilstrom again. <laughs> Come on, close it out, boys. Close it out. That's a 4 0. I hey, mean, that's a, what, a 32 safe shutout for Connor Hellebuck? Perfect. All right, game three. What do you got for me? Come on, Atlanta. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Show the NHL what powerhouse we have here, man. Come on, Kyle Connor, lead a, deep, lead a deep run. Lead a deep run as the captain of this team. Show why you should be re-signed at a high cap hit. Show me. Because it's been our bottom six a lot of this playoffs. Been our bottom six. Not saying Kyle Connor's disappeared. He's been better than last year. Let's score a goal here, Captain Kyle. Shit, Shifley's asking for the captaincy back with the way he's been playing. Leading, too. Might be down one nothing going into the third here. Power play. All right, big third period. Big third. Captain Kyle, that he heard me. He heard me up here in the booth in the press box. He scores a big goal. Oh, Quinn Hughes, you bitch, you bitch. All right, we need one. Who's it gonna be? Captain Kyle steps up again. Oh, he wants his contract. He wants to stay. He wants to stay. Unless if he's the one taking all these damn penalties. <laughs> no, he's not. Captain Kyle wants to stay, boys. Overtime. Jacob Silverberg! Jacob Silverberg! <laughs> We're up 3 nothing in the West Finals, baby. Ooh, that's a, that's a, be a fun series in real life, man. How's Fan Happiness 56? We, we've won seven straight playoff games. We're in the, whatever, who cares? Game four, let's have the sweep. Captain Kyle, thank you for stepping up, man. He heard me. Jack Rathbone scores a goal. Alright, Captain Kyle, you may need to step up again. They need to call you out again? Is that all is that what all it takes to get you going, man? A little a little tough love gets Captain Kyle going. Darius McGinnis, I don't even got to call this guy out. He he knows when the moment's big. Man, shout out Jakob Silverberg. Starting OT. We rolled out the fourth line. Good job, coach. Ooh, we are kind of dominating them in shots, man. Thatcher Demko's a great goalie, though. Billy Hinola from the same spot as Darius McGinnis. Into the third, up by one. Let's get the sweep here, fellas. Come on, Atlanta. Ah, uh, Blake Wheeler. He uh, he knows, he knows a re Captain Kyle again. Come on, Mark Shifley with an insurance marker. As I live and breathe. Philly, oh, what's so much going on? Oh, we gotta watch. That's right. Minute and a half left. We're up by one. I believe they tied it up, and then I believe Philly Hanola scored a clutch goal. Billy two goal game, baby. Damn, they got better defense than us. Probably because of Quinn Hughes, big ass. Late going 
Bottom pair defense group is out, and who's that? What, what forward group's out right now? Okay, it's our first line. Mark Scheif, or, yeah, first, oh, Carrier gets fucked up. Blake Wheeler out on the four check, finds Stillman, Carrier gets in the way, feed him. Here we go, Captain Kyle, show me, show me why you want the money. Show me why you want the money. Oh, we're cycling! Oh, big save, oh, Demko was way out. All right, minute 27. Oh, we're up by two. Okay. Okay. We're okay. Here we go, boys. Nick Suzuki is having a hell of a year. Win this. Come on, Mark. Yeah. Could use that, use that face-off one. There's plenty of time left in this one here. Good job, Dylan DeMello. Ellers dangles in, gets hit. Captain Kyle is working though. Look at him working. Look at him working. Get the puck. Come on, Captain Kyle. Show me why you want the money. Show me why you want the money, Captain Kyle. Ah, nice try though. Blake Wheeler though. He knows you. Captain Kyle again. This guy's this guy's on a mission. He wants to get paid. Captain Kyle again on the four check. Oh my god, he's gonna get paid, isn't he? Oh, what a fucking save by Demko. Captain Kyle. Just Shifley. Shifley in front. Turning. Shielding. Gets a shot. Poked off. Here comes Lucker and Mackey. Keep him outside. Keep him outside. Good poke. Good poke. Morrissey's a tank, man. Oh, shitty pass, but offsides. Uh, Vancouver's finally pulled a goalie because Kyle Connor needs a change. And he was just hemming them in the zone the entire time. So, Great shift by Captain Kyle. That's the stuff you need, man. I might offer you the contract right now. <laughs> Jet, woo! 26 seconds left. Perfetti, ice it! It got in the zone. Not very deep, but it got in there. Yelenin. Oh, what a dangle. Robertson. He's outnumbered by 3 to 1. Shoot! Oh, we're ragging. All right, we're up by 2, boys. We're going to the Stanley Cup Finals again. Perfetti, come on. Yep. That's why you pay him. <laughs> oh, we're going to the Stanley Cup Finals! Woo! Look at Pilstrom up there, second in goals. We have not played a lot of games. That's... <laughs> our numbers are low. Here we go, here we go. Six to three. Four nothing sweep. Atlanta Thrashers are going to the Stanley Cup Finals again. Let's defend our cup. We gotta figure out who we're playing. It's Toronto or Montreal. Toronto made a lot of deadline acquisitions. I remember that. Don't beat yourself up, Thatcher. Hey, Connor. Hell of a fucking series out there. Hell of a series. Great series, Captain Kyle. Are we touching it? You can touch it this year. Ah, oh, you're not touching that guy. That's man. You got you got better mitts this year. Whew. Okay. Oh, we gotta watch this. That's right. That was a great save by Thatcher. I thought we for sure had a goal. Shifley to Thomas to Shifley. Look at that snipe by Cole Perfetti. It's why he's paying the big bucks. So we have found success through drafting good players that can play great bottom six minutes on their rookie deals. Then hopefully we'll pay them and move them up the lineup. Um, anyways, let's find out who we're playing. The Montreal Canadiens. And the Hulk, a.k.a. Nick Suzuki, is out there. A little terrifying. A little terrifying. What do you have? 108 points? Where's Montreal? Holy shit. Holy shit, they're good. Holy mother ass. Oh, no. Alright. It's a Stanley Cup Finals, boys. 91 overall, Slavkowski. 92 overall, Suzuki. 86 and 90. Pretty 
Doc, 86, Nicholas Backstrom, 83, to Foley, 34. I just named their age, his age. Um, to Foley, 84. Johansson, 35. You got Gabe down the middle. Oh, boy. Gabe, Landis Cog's a third-line center, is going to be hard, man. Hard to get around. And you got to look at your fourth line. You got 84s. Yeah, good team. Defensively, they seem like some bangers, man. Two way, two way. I feel like these. Are, yeah, defense. Okay, here we go. Defensive, defensive, two way, two way. So a bunch of two ways, defensive, defenseman. But look at that. Come on, man. <laughs> it's another French. They got their hella book, man. So it's gonna. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be. This is gonna be hard. I just realized we were on a 12 game winning streak. We're coming in hot. Show me the tree real quick. You know, I don't I don't want to look at anything more. I want to get going. This will be tough. It'll be tough, but it'll be fun. Pillstrom on the power play. Great start. Man, we never get that. Game one, Stanley Cup Finals. They get one back though. Power play. Pillstrom after the power play scores. Two to nothing for Atlanta. By the way, this is the standard, by the way. Not losing a game in the playoffs, minus the first two overtime losses. But after that, you win 12 straight. You're coming in hot to the Seneca Final. This is the standard. Ah, tied it to Foley. Second line, uh, left wing gets one. Ellers gets it back. This is the standard, boys. This is what it's all about. Dominant club. Will Smith, 4-1. to one. Slavkowski gets one back, though. I am terrified of that first line. Oh, things are happening. Tomas, 5-2. to two. Halfway through the second, we get a power play. All right, so we've we've opened up Sorokin a little bit, man. I think I'd imagine they'd keep him in the net. You don't pull a guy like that, in my opinion. But we can't blow this. We can't blow this three-goal lead in the third period. It's, okay, so that's seven minutes of power play time we just killed. Yeah, give him some more. Why not? We have a brick wall in net. That's who really is winning these cups, man. It's Connor Hellebuck. And that being said, ladies and gentlemen, game one goes to the Atlanta Thrashers, 5-2. to two. Elbowing major for Robertson. He must have fucked them up. Hopefully he doesn't get suspended. Salmonson holding minor. Pinned him against the net, I guess. And Devon took an elbowing minor. Damn, Robertson, what you do? Game two. Matthew Robertson has been fined $5,000 max under the CBA. No suspension. He's in. He's in for game two. Will Smith. Mark Shifley. If we sweep these guys, it's, I'm going to have to put the draft in the video. Or else you guys are going to think I got eliminated in like the second round. Because it's only been a half hour. But I can't think ahead. You can't think ahead. You cannot think ahead. End of the first period. Two to nothing. Ah, there he is. There's the big boy. Nick Suzuki scores a goal. Captain Kyle Connor. On the power play. The power play's woken up a little bit here in the Stanley Cup Finals. That's two games and two power play goals? Alright, end of the second. Can we make it three? Can we end three to one? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Start the third period. Just gotta. Ah, come on. There you go, Puluk Dubois. That's a big ass goal. That's a big ass goal. Nick Suzuki's so good. Come on. Hold strong. Hold strong. Shelter the night. Shelter the night. Yes. Four to three. We were up two to nothing in the Stanley Cup Finals, baby. Look at Mark Shifley. Stud. I'm going to say it. Mark Shifley's a stud. I deserve that. Bill Strum. This guy can pot him, man. This guy can pot him. Yeah, he's got a hell of a shot, man. I'm glad we stuck with him and not Poirier. And Poirier's in Montreal's system. That's right. He's not He's not playing, though. He's in the QMJHL. And while our pick, we took two around after him. It's like scoring. Meaningful goals in the playoffs. 
He might be leading the team in goals, to be honest with you guys. Would have been nice to get one there, but I can't complain with how things have gone. All right, all right, all right. One to one going into the third period. We could go up three to nothing in the Stanley Cup Finals. Will Smith on the power play. They go ah, yep, they got it right back. Nick Suzuki, mother ass. Ryan Graves, come on. Let's get one back here. Captain Kyle, where you at? Where you at, Captain Kyle? Come on, come on. Ah, empty letter. No biggie. What we win 14 in a row, I think. We're two to one, yeah. All right, let's hop back in. Game four. Spots back, take a 3 1 lead, boys. Can't think too much ahead. You can't you can't think too much ahead against a good team like this. As much as the good times are wrong, they can also be stopped. Come on, we need a goal. We need a goal. There we The man, Pilstrom. Tomas, yes, our draft picks. Alright, we tied it up. We tied it up. Alright, this is a big big third period, man. Josh Morrissey! Alert! I put my hands in the air like I'm in at the game. Four to two. Huge, huge. Hold them off. Chaz Lucius. Chaz. Ladies and gentlemen, your Atlanta Thrashers have taken a three to nothing series lead, and they can win the Stanley Cup on home ice in the next game. <sighs> Let's win it. Let's win it. Gabe. There you go, Marcy. He's had big two games here with these goals. All right. One to one going in the second period. Pilstrom. He's so good. Taro Pilstrom. Taro the hero. Cole Perfetti. Big goal. Come on. Let's win it on home ice. Let's win it on home ice. This is the standard. Yes, Will Smith. That might be the game, man. Four to one with ten minutes left. Do we just win the cup again? It's dangerous to look forward, but do we just win the cup again? Will Smith again in the power play. We're gonna watch the rest of this puppy. Sit back, relax, enjoy. Your Atlanta Thrashers are going to win the Stanley Cup for the second year in the row. Second year in a row. Wow, that was a dominant rush by the Canadians. Connor Hellebuck has high IQ, so he plays it. Don't develop, just get that puppy deep. Ooh, okay. Good block there. Let's break it out. Nice, nice, nice. Good job, Elhurst. You lose. Keep him outside. Oh my god. Is that Safkowski? I believe so. He just reversed hit me. Ah, uh, DeMello. Good stick though, Ehlers. Ehlers. Is that DeMello up there? What is he doing? No, DeMello's back here. Gabe. 
There you go. Good stick, Nikolai. Oh, Demel got fucked up. Oh, he's still down. Come on, get back, get back, get back. Kasperi Kapan. Whoa! Connor Hellebuck, what a save! Uh oh. Good stick, Dylan. Surprised he's not concussed, though. Oh, shit. I don't know who that was, but that looked. That looked really painful. Alright, Montreal's been attacking the entire time here. But I mean, we are at 5 to 1, so. Feed him. Come on, Chaz. Stand that four check. We're gonna build a dynasty. This is the standard, man. Pilstrom has 20 points. You're going to throw that little floater at Connor Hellebuck? Get out of here with that. Dace McGinnis is second in hits. That's awesome. Nice. Let's get out of the zone here, Chaz. Good dump. Let him up. Oh, I want a big ass hit. Big hit. Nothing. Get that out of here, Matthew Robertson says. Oh, that's dangerous. Nah, that must have hurt. Slikowski gets poked. Under a minute left until your Atlanta Thrashers win their second Stanley Cup in a row. On home ice. These boys are spoiled. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I'm creating job security for life. Big save, Connor Ellibuck. Shut him down. No more whistles until this bad boy's over. Listen to the crowd. I'm going to sit back and let them all carry this away. <sighs> Come on. I'm going to sit back and let the crowd and broadcast take it away for you. That was going in the net. Mark Shreffy can spike, baby. There she is. Captain Kyle, come get what you've earned. You've earned yourself a contract extension, good man. I'm not touching this, by the way. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah, Peel at the ball deserves it. You've been here.
Give it to Hellebuck, please. Or Pilstrom. Ah. Uh, who is it? Who did they give it to? Is that Salmonson? Ah. <laughs> sure, why not? Come on, let's, let's get Pilstrom, McGinnis, Hellebuck. Yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you, God. Let's go. Connor Hellebuck, lift it up again. That's two. Yeah, look at the two fingers. <laughs> That's two. The names. Owner goals evaluated. Good job. I expect goals to be accomplished when I set them. Keep doing this and you'll be a shoe in for an extension when the time comes. Passed. I want us to win the Stanley Cup. We got 250 k 250 k Alright, we're going to keep keep it going because that's only like 45 minutes. And you guys aren't going to think... You guys are going to think I got eliminated early. Which, I mean, I guess winning the Cup's a surprise. But we'll do the draft. Why not? We only have three picks anyways. I wanna go to the moon. Oh, okay, that's oh, we're good. Um, okay, let's actually t let's take a look at everything here. Uh, awards. We'll start there. We broke we broke the curse of the president's trophy. Atlanta Thrashers. Oh wait, this is showing last year's. Okay, we're gonna have to wait to get to. Uh, Closer to draft time there. Anyways, let's look at our team and what they did in the playoffs. Mark Shifley had 24 points. 19 games played. Ellers 22 and 17. So, look, I'm glad I extended Ellers. That alone is worth it. I heavily value being able to play in the playoffs. Look at Pilstrom. 11 goals, 9 assists, 20 points. Over point per game. Kyle Connor, point per game. He scored some big goals in some big games. He's earned himself a contract extension, and we're going to work it out. Cole Perfetti, point per game in the end as well. Then Tomas down to 15. 14 for Will Smith is good growth. Morrissey at 14. Dubois at 12. Lucius at 10 is good. Sam McGrody there. Billy had some big big goals, man. McGinnis was 7. Didn't get into the depth, depth players here. Plus minus. Best goes to Billy by far, too. Who's taking penalty minutes? Tomas, you son of a bitch. Darius took a lot too. Who's our Silverberg? So the Silverberg Award is to who take, go plays all playoff games and takes no penalties. The Silverberg Award is shared between Alexander Carrier and Terrell Pilstrom. Terrell Pilstrom may have had my favorite playoff run of any player I've ever seen. Who was clutch? Pilstrom and Ellers were clutch. How do we want to do in the draw? So, we're taining over... It was the only one over 50. That's okay. He was hitting for us. Darius McGinnis leads the way. He's finally getting more active physically there. Followed by Tomas. Piluc Dubois. DeMello. Perfetti. Good, good, good. Who's blocking for me? All my defensemen. 
Who's taking the puck away the most? Perfetti. Kyle Connor had a fantastic playoff run. He was good defensively. Darius McGinnis, very good defensively too. He had two fights. Hey, who dropped the gloves in the playoffs? Just Darius McGinnis twice. So that's where 10 of his penalty minutes came from. Just fine. Man, what a good run. What a good run. What a good find Darius McGinnis was for us too, man. And, uh, of course, we can't forget Connor Hellebuck with a 9-3-1. He went 16-1-2. I'm surprised he didn't win the Conn Smythe, man. I mean, let's, let's take a look at goalies. So, out of anyone that played actual hockey, no one sniffed Connor Hellebuck. So, Rorkin's the next closest to 9-18. All skaters, points. Suzuki was a tank. Well... Credit where credit's due. Then it's all uh, all Atlanta Thrashers from there. Pilstrom and Ellers, most clutch. So Slavkowski had the most hits. McGinnis followed him up. Best defensive player was far and away Cole Perfetti and Kyle Connor. Oh boy. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out who Darius McGinnis could have fought. It could have been Stillman. It could have been Doc. It could have been Falk. It could have been Man, a lot of a lot of fights. Okay, so it could have been Falk. It could have been Doc, and it could have been Stillman, out of all the people we played. And here's the playoff tree for you, Mike. Atlanta cruised through the NHL playoffs, man. Cruised through the NHL playoffs. All right, let's go to where we can see the awards here. Let's see if I can see him yet. Yes, okay, perfect. Atlanta Thrashers, back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champions. Presence Trophy, Atlanta Thrashers. Clarence, it's Campo, Atlanta Thrashers, back-to-back. -back. Prince of Wales goes to Montreal Canadiens, who we played against. Individual awards, the Art Ross goes to Nick Suzuki. So closely could have been Shifley. The Hart goes to Shifley, though, wow. Norris to McMcAvoy, Lady Bang to Suzuki, Calder to Dvorsky, Conn Smythe, Shifley. Vesna goes to Hellebuck, good. He deserved another one of these. There you go, Connor. Masterton to Alexiak, Jack Adams, Christie, Selkie to Crosby, Ted Lindsay to Shifley. So Shifley was well respected. Well respected this year. Alright, let's get the let's get the draft in here real quick. Let's get this video a little over an hour. Who retired? Crosby retires. Wow. Crosby followed by Malkin, Stamkos, Taves, Car Okay, so you got a hell of a retirement class here, man. Look at the names. For, I'm going to get to the first person that I recognize. Dalton Smith. Was this the guy the Sabres had that they called up for one game to beat the shit out of someone? Ha <laughs> ha! It was! They gave Dalton Smith an NHL contract and they called him up to beat the shit out of someone on Tampa Bay. I forgot who it was. They put a minute and 26. Dalton Smith. First player I knew. Good for you, Dalton. Hell of a career. All right, so we're picking 32. We kept our first round pick. Who's around 32 that we like? Let's get to 32. All right, this guy, Isaac DeMaio. Nothing too special. Looking three years up here. Got three picks up. What do we got? Kirk Kwong. NHL ready. Oh boy, we about to get ourselves a steal, a steal in our hands. Yeah, 73 points in 68 games played. Absolutely, I'm marking him now. I don't even need to interview him. I know everything I need to know. Uh, nothing here. Four, is that four years confirmed? No, three years confirmed? No. Oh, here we go. Three years away, but it looks like he's got some good traits. 
We'll mark him down. Top six forward medium, three years away, mark him down. Don't know enough about him. Don't know for sure. Okay, so we got everyone around 32 that I know enough about to mark. So 32, why don't we give this guy, no, we know he's three years. I mean, if Kwong's there, it's Kwong, let's be real. Um, we know he's four years. What do we know about Lars Janssen? We don't know enough. Well, interview Lars Janssen. Get his NHL ETA. How ready are you, got Lars? Still a few years away. If that's three years, I'm comfortable with it, though. Offensively inclined. Okay, so this is similar to uh, Kim Svedberg, who we took last year. If one's right-handed, other's left-handed. Lars is right-handed. What's your weakness, Lars? Okay. Okay, so I think we know enough about around 32. Um, I'm letting you guys... Oh, it's four years. Okay. I'm letting you guys know right now, if Kwong is available, I may even move up to make sure we get him. A 5'9", productive forward. NHL ready. He's for sure the pick. He is. So around 32 as well. I, like these guys, you for sure are going to need to trade out for. So I don't think I really even want to consider this too much. What I do want to do is sort by potential. Maybe we'll interview a guy who's projected lower. That could be elite. Oh, who do you got? We got a lower elite here going 48th overall. One year away. And he's got an X Factor. Okay. Because I know we've sold our, a lot of our picks in this draft. So I got to see where we're at. We got a third. Which, okay, we may need to trade out for this fellow here. That's good. We know we got him. Okay, so starting off with just sorting by potential, we have a medium league goalie. Okay, don't know enough about these guys. Show me some low elites. Okay, okay we know this low elite. We know another low elite at 169. Skylar Yui. Five years. Jamie Oshi. Not enough for me. Top six forwards. We got a 92 gem. Five years. We got another one at 38. We got a markdown already, though. It's a grinder going seventh overall. It's awesome. Okay, anything else that we know? Top six forward, low at 83. An A-plus league, solid. Top 4D. Top 4D, low at 64. We can mark. And that's it. That is it. Let's just interview a few more people around 32. All right, I need gems. I actually forgot gems. Strimbu. Couple gems. Uh, we got the two marked that are going to be in our area, though. Okay, let's just interview a few more around 32. Um, give Denisov an interview. Just I want I want all of our options laid out. So we have a first, a third, and a sixth. Um, players I for sure want to come away with are Kwong, and I want that defenseman. And then after that, I'm cool. Maybe the goalie. There's another low elite out there too. So this is, this is oh, I hit play style again. Well, it's not asking the same question. It's fine. All I wanted was his years to the NHL. Um, this is why you kind of wish he had more picks, you know? But, I mean, we've won two back-to-back -back cups. Clearly the moves we made have been working. So he's three years away. Three years away. Uh, give this guy a shot, probably. Yeah. 29, Mika. In case he followed us, I want to know what my options are. Oh, it's glitching out. It'll tell us after, though. New topic. Tell me about your skills, Mika. Okay. All right, let's get. So this video will end after the draft. We're gonna look at our contracts. We're gonna leave it pondering so that you guys can help me make decisions. Okay. Three years away. Okay, so we got everyone marked that we want, right? 
that is the top. Okay, so we have, so here's who I really, really, really want. So we have three picks, a first, a third, and a sixth. Now, our first, I want to target Kwong. I hope Kwong is there. I really, really hope that Kwong is there. Um, if not, we have backup plans. Second, I want this guy, Stefan Yauer. Honestly, if Kwong is taken, I might just take this guy at 32 or trade back just a little bit. And then later, we can target Yui. I think he might be available in the sixth round. Uh, other than that, though, I think that all these guys might be gone. So, let's go into the draft. We have the players that we want to target. I don't think we're going to trade up, only because, I mean, well, let's just look in front of us. So, in order to secure Kwong, we would need to move picks later in the draft, right? And we have guys later in the draft that we want. Um... So also another thing I would like to do, real quick, is I think I want to move Pierre Engvall, take anything I get for him, well, get some more picks in this draft. That'd be actually awesome. Where are you, Pierre Engvall? See, so let's just do this. So use left, keep. Yes. So Hanola took another jump. Good, because this contract I need that to pan out if this team's gonna work or continue to work. So keep the ball, keep Perfetti, keep Ellers. Keep Henry, keep Bonk, keep Pilstrom, keep Svedberg, keep Felix, keep Champion, keep Morrissey, keep McGinnis, keep Cody, keep Will Smith, Will Smith jumped too. Um, any, okay, so Pierre Engvall has a little bit of value too. Let's see what we can get. I'm looking for picks in this draft to be honest with you. Okay, so there's a fifth, two picks in this draft. Fourth and a seventh. Fourth and a seventh. Fourth and a seventh of this year's draft, I think, is what I'd like to do. Yeah. Yeah, fourth and a seventh is what I like to do in this year's draft. So, Florida, to Pierre Engvall, first of all, thank you for everything, man. Thank you, Pierre. Anybody else? We could chip off, maybe for some value. Slavicic is growing, man. I'm just saying. Man, we got we got champion. We have Felix coming out. Man, our forwards are going to be... Someone's going to be that man out soon. It could be, even be next year. Okay, and then we're into one. Okay. And then goalies. Okay, so that's the move I wanted to make. Now, let's look at what picks we have this year. We'll send the first pick. We're running out of time. Wow, okay. Gavin McKenna, I believe. It's a franchise. Ooh, this guy's good. Where did he play last year? Does it say? WHL, he had 113 points. Eek. Let's offer a trade here. What, uh, let's just see what picks we, picks we have. Felix Dubois is our most most value. He jumped. Okay, it's the contract. He jumped to ninety two, and I got him at six point nine mil. Yes, leave me feeling smart. Okay, so I'm gonna write this down. I'm gonna write this down. We have, so we now have one, two. We have five picks in this draft. Move after moving Angle, which is good. We have 32, we have 88, 124, 192, and 220. Okay, and the players we want, or they're projected to go, I know it, they can go earlier than go later. Um, the players I want, so where, Kwong is 33, so that's going to be iffy, he may be, he may go. He may go. Um, 88 is our next pick, and, okay, so we're gonna have to move up for Yar. I want to come out of this with Kwong and Yar the most. So let's start simming towards our pick, and when we're about five picks away from our pick, we'll see where we're at, okay? 
You guys get a quick little look through the first round, see who's going. So 32, we'll go to pick 27. And we're going to see that, first of all, Kwong's on the board. And if any team is willing to trade and what it would take to trade up. Yeah, it's another good draft. All right, we're getting to pick 15. You're still in high, in low 70s. There you go, down to the 60s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh, tough pick there for Seattle. Glad we didn't trade for John Carlson. We won the cup without him. Okay, coming up in pick 27. Pick 27 is available for trade. And our boy is still on the board. I think I think you just you hold your assets. You have multiple guys that you can take in this draft. I think we send our pick. If he's gone, we just take draw a little early. Fuck. Fuck. He goes. He goes to Montreal. He's a good player. Great player. That sucks. That does suck. But like I said, we know what we're doing here. What do you guys think about Cristiano Murphy, though? Someone we actually didn't talk about. Then you still got to trade up for Yar. Or do we just take Yar, do you think? I think... I think, I think, I think. So we have 88. Okay, let me look at my board, my draft class. I'm calling a timeout, just to make sure nothing goes wrong. Man, that sucks that Kwong went. He's a guy that we liked. Okay, so we can move 220. There's no one after 220 we like. We can move 192. So we can use those picks to trade up if it's... And I want to keep all capital for next year. I think, honestly, what we're going to do is we're just going to take Yar now. He's the guy that I want the most. Connor Murphy. Is that his name? Cristiano Murphy. Um, yeah, he'll, be, he'll be a good player. I want you guys to know that. He'll probably be a low elite with X-Factors. But look at what we're getting. Look at what we're getting in Yar. We'll take him early. And let's, like, let's see what's available for the pick. If we can trade back a couple picks, I'm fine with that. What's offered to us? No. No, I want to be in the early second round. Uh, no, okay. I'll take Yar now then. No, no offers to trade back where I want. I'll take Yar. Murphy's going to hurt to lose. He's going to be a very good player. But Stefan Yar, we know what we're getting. What overall is he? Yeah, 74 overall, low elite, and X-Factors. Yeah, very happy with this. Him and uh, Kim Svedberg are going to be monsters on the back end for us. Now, our next pick is at 88. And we can look. We can look and see if there's anything we can work out with Cristiano, but I don't think... I don't think we will. Let's take a look. So 35 is when he's supposed to go. This is 34. Um, so if we were to trade for this pick, it would take 88 and then these two. That's what I'd be willing to offer. Okay, let me just make sure he doesn't go to Columbus, and I'll offer this package. I'll offer this package to the Red Wings. He didn't go to Columbus. That was St. Louis, by the way. I'll offer this to the Red Wings. If, you take, if they take it, I'll happily take. We still keep 124, so we can take a player we like there. Trey's rejected. I'm not doing it. I'm going to watch Cristiano go off the board. I'm going to be sad about it. Oh, he's falling, too. He's falling. Holy shit, he's falling. He hasn't gone yet. Okay. Okay. He's got to be like the top player on the board, right? Would you do it? Trey's rejected, you sons of bitches. Do I still have Caden Korshek? Can I throw him in a trade? This guy's still on the board, right? Yeah, he's he fell a little bit too. 
I gotta get I gotta get in here. I gotta get in here. Nah, they want course check. So course check's an RFA, that's why he has value here. Uh we're gonna get this trade done, ladies and gentlemen. I just Yeah, we got course check we can use as a bargaining chip. Course check in a seventh. That did feel a little cheese when I said it. Another pick should do it. Nashville, thank you. Thank you, Nashville. I'm coming to get you. Cristiano Murphy, I'm coming to get you. Oh, he's got a gold X Factor, too. Oh, he's power forward? Power forward. Cristiano Murphy, welcome to the Atlanta Thrashers. We got him, boys. Caden Korshek, thank you for all that you've done. Just didn't fit in on the team, man. Uh, 88. Who's going around 88 that we like? 88. We could take this low elite. We could take a top six forward. And that's about it. So we'll get to 88, and we're going to go from there. Pick 88. Now, our choices are a low elite going away later, so we trade back. Yeah, you guys want to trade back and get some assets? This guy's also five years away, too. They're both five years away, and one's going to be low elite. Yeah, no no brainer here to trade back and get some assets. But it's 169, I believe, that we need. Uh... Oh, we, sorry, we have a 124. So we can just take them then. No, let's just take the top six forward right now, actually. I'll take the top six forward now. Then we'll take at 124. We'll take Yui. Yeah, so Caden Turner, welcome to the Atlanta Thrashers organization. Little sniper top six forward. Take a while to get there, but that's all right. 124. Let's go pick up Yui. Have a draft. Have a draft. Skylar Yui. Low Lee. No X Factors. That's okay. That's okay. And ladies and gentlemen... I forgot to look through all the teams. My bad, Mike. My bad. Okay. NHL assistant coach, Garnet Axelby. He's probably going to want to be an NHL coach. Ooh, he wants to be an associate, but we already got an associate. Jacuzzi. Right. NHL assistant coach, bud. And now let's just take a look at what everyone's looking for for contracts, all right? Pilar Dubois, man, what a fucking deal. Kyle Connor, how bad do you want to hurt me? Around 10 6, all right. All right. We've got 22 mil to work with, so we can, we can make it happen. Matthew Robertson? You will be qualified. DeMello doesn't want a contract extension. He's looking for quite a bit. Okay. These boys want Stanley Cup payoffs. Payoffs. Pay. Pay days. Okay, okay, okay. All right. There's your preview. There's your preview, boys. Thank you for watching. It's back to back Stanley Cup champ champions, Atlanta Thrashers.